Mayday! 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 Hiya! <laughs> Happy May Day weekend! I am finally out and about again. God, my rock site looks massive. Um, and I can't wait. It's a bank holiday weekend. Um, but I worked today on Saturday. Um, but I was like, I don't have a choice. I'm going out on a hike, on a wild camp. I cannot wait to be in my tent. Um, little climb this evening. It's already like 7 p.m. So yeah, I thought I'd take you with me. I have started in Abergavenny and um, planning, planning on ending in Krakowel on Monday evening. So yeah, and you might have noticed something about the quality. Hmm, little Missy got a new camera. So, <laughs> um, that's exciting. Anyway, I shall update more later. Join me. The hope is to summit Sugarloaf before setting up camp a little bit further down. We'll see if I make it or not. But yeah. Even just being out here is so nice. I was inside today working and I was like, it's so nice outside. I just want to go now. <laughs> April's been like a really weird month and um, you know I sort of missed the deadline I'd said to myself for YouTube and stuff but then I realized you know what I can post stuff whenever I want it's my channel so <laughs> if it takes longer to do something it takes longer to do something tough <laughs> that being said I really appreciate if you clicked on this video and that you're back to watch another adventure. <laughs> Thank you all. And I'll take that opportunity to uh, ask you to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and tell your friends and grandparents and pets and comment. <laughs> uh, anyway, on with it. <laughs> or not to summit I think I've only got about well it's 20 to 8 now uh, I've been walking for about an hour which I think is pretty good going considering <laughs> how close I already am to the sugar loaf so proud of myself <laughs> um, I can see Penny Van from here so that's cool and the sun is about to set I reckon I have maybe another half hour before it properly sets so I think I'll give it a go when in Rome, you know? Woohoo! So, the plan is to go down there, do, 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 do. then tomorrow onto that hill, then onto that ridge. Vaunfach is over there and then on Monday oops, <laughs> to walk along that ridge and then down back down and Krakow is around there somewhere Woo! <laughs> So, I 
do have a rough idea of where I'd like to camp. Um, funnily enough, I've just seen other campers uh, a little bit further it's behind me, so I'm not going to camp near them. Um, but still got a little while to go. Um, but I think I've I'd, I'd already spotted it on the map like ages ago, but I was like, I think that's where I want to camp. <laughs> I do tend to look up sort of places on the map beforehand so that I have a rough idea of where I'd like to camp just because, you know, it's not always given with bracken and shrub and all these different obstacles to sort of, you know, that could keep you from finding like a flat surface. So yes, it's now about half eight. So it took me a little longer than anticipated, but God, that climb was a slog, <laughs> um, especially with the load I was carrying, so, or I am carrying. The thing is, right, I brought extra water um, because I wasn't going to have time to like filter and stuff. So I was just like, I'll pack everything and then tomorrow morning, once I'm in the valley, the plan is to restock before I head back up. But we'll see, definitely, I'm definitely not going to be carrying as much water tomorrow. <laughs> for the sake of my poor feet and back and everything but it's just not rained at all I like at all um like this past month really it was like six weeks even so I don't know I'm a bit weary because sources are you know not as plentiful as they should be really this time of year um to my knowledge <laughs> anyway right tiny little last push this is all downhill now, so pretty chill. Just gotta make sure I don't trip over anything. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> you know what, I've just realized I was trying to find the spot that I wanna go to and I realized, I was like, why is it so black around here? Like, why is it so dark? Obviously there's like dark shrub and stuff, but not as black as this. And then I realized this must be the bit that was on fire a while back. Look at it so dark obviously not just here but all that at the back so now I don't I don't really know where they were whether I want to camp there um, so that because that's where I wanted to go um, just looks really sad so I'm gonna try and look for somewhere else and I'm gonna try not to I'm off the path now so I'm gonna try not to uh, step on any nests of anything While my water boils in the wind with a windshield, I thought I would treat myself. Let's hope this hasn't been shaken too much. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Ooh. Here we go. Cheers. Happy May Day weekend and may we all work till we die. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, it's nice to be out here and to escape mundane routine um, on May Day weekend. <sighs> yeah. It's good. Once once again, a camp where I arrived um, basically just before night, well, just as nightfall was happening. But no drama, like, um, it's meant to rain in the morning um, a little bit. But you know what? I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm kind of looking forward to just being in my tent and listening to the rain. Um, it's quite windy here. Or oh, I... I mean, I chose a spot that's exposed to the wind, but I just wanted the views. <laughs> I can't resist the views.
one thing I should have thought to bring is camp socks. Um, like socks just dedicated to camp, you know, being at camp, chilling at, at camp, whatever. But um, I did not, I forgot. But that's fine. It's dry weather anyway. It's nice for my feet to air out and it's not really cold enough for them to get cold, if you know what I mean. Um, but yes, I thought I would show you what I'm having for dinner. Because that's why you're here, right? <laughs> so I'm having another fire pot meal, I know. Um, I promise I don't just eat fire pot, I'm having something else tomorrow. But, um, ooh, this isn't feeling that hot anymore, so I should probably eat that. Um, dal and rice with spinach. Something else. Looking forward to that. I'm also having a couple of leftovers. So this is a German fricadelle. It's like, like a meat patty. Um, baby bell and a bit of... <laughs> <laughs> tomato I've eaten and um, I finished my beer and I had a little bit of a herbal tea with some remaining hot water and now I'm all tucked in and cozy and I think I'm just gonna read for a bit and then I need to brush my teeth, the dreaded task, brush my teeth and yeah, just maybe go to the toilet or something before I go to bed. It is quarter to 11. <laughs> um, but no, that was a nice start to it. And I don't know if it's because I know the sugar loaf as in the hill, um, but I just feel very like comfortable here i don't know maybe it's because i know the area quite well now as well these these days um whereas on previous trips in previous years i was still discovering the area i don't know but it's nice as i said it is windy so fingers crossed it's not too cold and i managed to get some kind of sleep always an issue for me um yeah i don't sleep well while camping but i still love while camping or camping in general anyway i'm babbling now good night catch you in the morning morning it's about quarter to six and <sighs> it's been raining all night. It started around midnight and the good news is my sleeping bag was very warm and toasty. The bad news is that of course I've slept very little. Mm. And I've been more in pain as the night has increased. I was in pain from like hiking and stuff. But, um, I suppose I should just see what it looks like outside. I guess. I don't really want to. I've just been arranging things a little bit in the tent because um, whatever was outside of the tent has obviously gotten wet and stuff but the ground sheet got wet so I was trying to drain that so that it doesn't go under the tent. I don't know how successful I was. <laughs> um, I'm trying to charge my GoPro and my phone but my GoPro wasn't charging earlier. Like I took it out to quickly like shoot something and the battery level was the same as before. Um, but now it seems to be charging now that the phone is also charging. It's a bit of a weird one. Um, 
I'm filming on my old camera now. Um, uh, and it's like 7 a.m. and I'm I'm hesitant as to what to do. I think I should have the whole hog, so I should have breakfast and coffee, and pack up and go rather than like do what I often do in this kind of weather and just just have coffee and then try and like tell myself that I'm gonna have breakfast somewhere else and then just never end up having it. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's cramped and my body's like aching because I can't really move around much. That's the downside of just having a teeny tiny one person tent. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah. I'm sort of like dithering a bit. I'm like, oh, do I go further up the hill? Because I've just checked the weather forecast and it's actually looking like it's going to rain some more as well tomorrow and stuff. But ah, again, it boils down to perseverance. If things charge up properly, and I know that they're reliable, they're there and everything... I think I am going to continue because why not, you know? Ugh. Sorry, just footage of me yawning. Great stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm not looking forward to setting up the tent tonight though because the outer sheet is obviously drenched. Um, so the inner is not gonna it's not gonna stay fully dry it never does in this kind of weather when you know between two nights I mean but anyway <sighs> sorry <laughs> it's gonna be one for rain clothes today Banana and goji berry and chia seed porridge and coffee. Righto. Um, <clears throat> I've just had my breakfast and I swapped the cable over. So like I just I just turned it around for the GoPro and now it seems to be charging. I don't know. Um, it charged before on my battery dock, so I don't know what's happening. Anyway, it's now 8 a.m. <laughs> Is your hourly update? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna now pack up. I've already started packing up earlier. Um, you know, like some of the sleeping things and stuff. But yeah, I think I need to get a move on. Really, so can't show light up. The GoPro lied. It wasn't that it was charging, it was that I had um, scrolled on to like time lapse or photo mode and it shows that there's more battery in those modes because they use up less battery. So it's not charging. I don't understand why. Anyway, I have another battery, um, but I'm just gonna have to make, make it last two days now. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to figure out what's going on there because that's not good. Not good at all. Not good at all. It's letting up a little bit now, just in time for me to pack up the actual tent. Everything else is packed. There we go. <laughs> so let's go. Alright guys, 
What's the first rule of all camping? Leave no trace. You've been warned. <laughs> and with that, let's go. Look at that. Luckily the path must have stopped the fire. It's really haunting. Look at that. Charred, charred nature. So sad. Passing through a sheep of sheep mums and lambs, and they all start sounding the alarm. It's quite funny. I'm sorry, I don't mean to disturb you. <laughs> I'm just passing through. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Officially call me a sweaty Betty. Oh, they're still coming towards me. I was just like power walked uphill through that field because those bloody sheep kept coming towards me, which is quite unusual. Like usually they're running away from you. <laughs> but I think maybe the mums were feeling in a defense. Pardon me, in a defensive mood. lovely though regardless regardless of the weather it's nice it's just nice to be out and oh, I just hope the sort of bigger clouds shift from the tops of the hills now for when I get there because the weather has to work around me okay <laughs> like the seal on this is uh, breaking finally after like three years of use um, oh, I've just like trespassed <laughs> nearly ripped my rain cover on a barbed wire fence and now this it's an adventure whoa <laughs> it's the bloody day of breakages <laughs> my water filter bottle thing the filter itself is fine but the bottle itself the seal is just gone on one side I still managed to filter some water but with difficulty so that broke and then <laughs> I took my rain trousers off and put my gaiters back on and a part of the left gaiter snapped the little not the elastic but the little part that offers resistance to the elastic at the top <laughs> please don't make this like become breakage day I really, really need everything else to work. <laughs> anyway, I have a bit more water now. So, onwards. 
up the hill. Look at that. Look at that. It's a perfectly preserved nest. It must have fallen from the tree above and I'm guessing the eggs were stolen. But look how perfectly round it is. It's amazing. I can see where I'm going now. See that forest behind me? But I'm not going into the forest, I'm staying on the edge, on the top of it. And that's where I'm headed. Nice that it's not covered in cloud anymore. It's dry now, which is good. Oh, I've got to climb! changed the battery and made it last until it was at one percent <laughs> anyway uh, I am sitting in the wind not a great idea but I really needed to have some lunch before I continue and head into whatever clouds await me um, what am I having for lunch you ask <laughs> I'm so glad you asked <laughs> I'm having some crunchy stuff some radishes I'm having um, I have a, I had a leftover pretzel, um, so I took that with me, like a full size one, and then I'm putting this vile stuff. It's not vile. It actually tastes really, really good, but it looks vile. If you if you saw my first world camp of 2022 video, you'll know it looks vile because it basically comes out of a tube. Um, but then I smell vile and feel, you know, like it's part. It's all part of the adventure. <laughs> Oh, and some cheese as well. <laughs> some primula, primula, primula cheese. Um, who brings two types of cheeses to a hike, you ask? Why, this this lady here. This this nutter here who loves cheese. I do love cheese. Everyone who like knows me privately knows this. <laughs> I better gonna move on. the name for now um, but when I was on that hill I was thinking like ah oh, I can see I can practically see Krikawa from here I could just you know I could just go directly there and like end the day early um, but guys you have to remember when I'm doing these things or when certain people do these things it is indeed about the journey and not the destination the destination is the journey if that makes sense like of course there's a destination in that i want to set up my tent somewhere nice blah 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 you know i want to but the journey for me is also about like exploring somewhere i haven't been before seeing somewhere new or revisiting somewhere that i like or you know so yeah something to ponder
join me for a wee break. Not a wee break, but a wee break. <laughs> Wait, am I Scottish? Mm. Oh my god, the Snickers is really hard. <laughs> oh. Oh. I was like walking on the ridge and I was like, this is it now, isn't it? This is like not long now until, you know, I get to like Van Vach. <laughs> and I looked at the map and I was like, Oh, <laughs> it's a long ass ridge. <laughs> so, uh, I'm taking a break. That can only be beneficial, right? Lonely, I miss the lonely. I am nobody. But my own. Look, it's the mushroom hat of Mario, but as a cloud. <laughs> bit -a -bit -bit -a -bit. I have just had some sugar. Uh, can you tell that I've had some sugar? <laughs> uh, I've, had, I've had some sugar. <laughs> Dear Drizzle, can you please fuck off? I don't think he heard me. <laughs> one little Drizzle went swimming one day over the ridge and far away. Mother Cloud said, Rain, 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 and all the drizzle came down at once. I know I was all about, you know, it's the journey, not destination, blue, blue, blue. But actually, <laughs> when you can't see for shit, it's a little bit boring. <laughs> Just a little bit. I think that's why I'm very becoming silly. Silly, 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 silly. <laughs> <laughs> This cloud is coming for this hill. I'm about to be engulfed. No! I love how suddenly there's like a pocket of visibility when the cloud shifts. Hello, Valley. Hello. Hello. It's now. This weather does kind of lend the mountains a more like mysterious and eerie character. But for some funny reason, I'm less scared this time than I have been in the past. Um, I'm barely even thinking about the fear, to be honest. Um, occasionally it'll come into my mind, I'll be like, but I'm always, I'm always like more worried about people than I am about <laughs> actually like something happening to me like with, because of nature itself which is ironic because I was nearly crushed by a cliff last year but um <laughs> that's a story for another time but do you know what I mean though like I feel safest when out here and you chat to people and stuff and like everyone's really respectful and I don't think I've ever had anyone who's like oh yeah let me follow you or you know anyone giving off weird vibes like that. People just keep to themselves really. And then if people, if people chat, then it's usually just in passing and then you wish each other well and you each on your way. I don't know, like, anyway. Um, but yes, eeriness, definitely with the black turf and 
peat it's uh definitely gives it an eerie vibe for sure it's kind of cool you know Pendigader far, Vaur, sorry. Um, but I need to take a little detour to find some water because the water sources are looking pretty abysmal. And I've seen on the map that there's supposed to be like a waterfall further along this way. And that's what I need. If there's waterfall, then I reckon there's more likelihood of there being like flowing water. Um, so that's what I'm going to seek out next. Then I'm going to summit Penigade Faur properly. And then we'll see. Might end up on there or might end up on um, as far as Van Vach. <laughs> <laughs> 